All right, what is up everybody? So I wanted to tell you guys a story today about how I went from being a fat kid all the way to becoming a model and kind of like the lessons I learned along the way. Now to start, when I was younger, probably up until I think it was high school, like I was chunky, like I was thick with a double C. Now besides the fact that I was fat, I also made up for it by being, well, short and getting really bad grades at the same time. So I guess you could say I had the worst, the trifecta of a terrible combination to say the least. So growing up, there's a lot of difficulties with being fat. Obviously to start, you have a really bad self-image issue because you're constantly getting compared to people who are lighter. In addition to that, there's all sorts of issues that you wouldn't normally think about. Like for example, what if you had a double chin in a picture and you were the only one with the double chin? Or like, what would happen if you had to go to a school dance and nobody wanted to dance with you? Well, for the record on that one, fortunately I did get really good at dancing by myself. So there is that. Another issue that I ran into was the fact that you're, you're always looking for clothes that fit because nothing really ever fit. And so if you found something that worked, you had to buy multiple colors of the same thing. However, because I practically wore the same thing all the time, I also then got bullied as a result of that. One thing that I wish I told myself at the time was not to really care about what people think about you. Just try to have any sort of confidence in yourself regardless on whether or not you actually feel confident because eventually you will. At least you should feel good about yourself because you're at least trying to become a healthier person. However, as a kid, that's very difficult. And these aren't things that I even learned about until I became a model. Now this goes full circle into modeling. So starting about two years ago, I heard about these modeling opportunities in Portland, Oregon. And so usually when you show up to a tryout, there's like different types of people who are there. You have the type of people that were recruited by the owners of the modeling agency. And so they would hit you up on like social media or they would see you in person and then they would ask you to try out. So then you're compared to the other people who are then trying out as well. So that's like the first tier. Second tier are the people who already have friends that are models. Third tier are the walk-ins. And so out of like say 40 people that showed up, they would accept a couple girls and maybe like two guys total. And so I was the one that just happened to show up. In addition to this too, the funny part was that literally everybody was dressed up like they were going out that night. However, it was during the day. I walked in with a tank top and cargo shorts and flip flops. The reason why I walked in like that is because I simply didn't care what people thought because I just assumed that I wasn't going to get it. And if I did, it'd be like, oh, happy surprise. But nonetheless, at this point in time, I got really involved in academics. And so I cared more about my mind than I did with my body. The problem I saw people making is that they only valued their body. And so if they didn't get accepted to this opportunity, then they would hate themselves because that's all they got. And that was the problem. Getting into modeling is something where you should do it so long that you can feel good about yourself, but know that you're gonna get criticized a lot obviously, because that's the nature of the beast, right? You're literally showing yourself off with clothing on in order to advertise a product. You know, it's to be expected. So fast forward to the very end of the modeling interview. It was pretty cool because fortunately I was accepted, but I realized how subjective everything really was because I'm sitting there and I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. And then so when they accepted me, it's like, oh, this is cool because I get some initial validation over you know, my physical self. But I realized very quickly that that, that didn't really matter and you're gonna be criticized all the time because that's just the nature of the industry. And so there's always going to be someone who will criticize you and then always going to be somebody that loves you at the same time. It's just something that you can't escape. And that's something that I realized while modeling. So going forward into my very first day, it was actually pretty funny because I've never strut around in my underwear in front of a group of people before. It was real weird. So pretty much what happened is there's an all white studio. There's like photographers taking pictures of me I had to strut in my underwear and there's a massive window in front where the public would walk by and just watch what was going on. So it was very weird. When I was walking around, not only one was it kind of a funny and goofy situation, but I just realized how fake everything really was. And that was the point. Because when younger people like myself are looking at like advertisements and they're looking at all these people, they really have no idea what the background of it is. A lot of the people who are modeling have eating disorders. A lot of the people have heavy makeup, heavy Photoshop. They don't feel like themselves and they have to fake this like confident look in the picture in order to prove that they're worthy of being on this advertisement. But at the end of the day, the most unconfident people I ever met in my life were actually the models. And that's because they're constantly living up to the scrutiny as opposed to accepting themselves. They're always wondering, what am I going to do to look physically better to get the next job as opposed to simply accepting where they're at, what their body's capable of doing, and then looking forward on how they can make small improvements here and there, as opposed to say, I have to starve myself and I have to put on a fake smile in order to get this job. So it's a pretty terrible industry. Overall, the point of the story is that you don't have to find validation for who you are. 
because there's always going to be someone who likes you. There's always going to be someone who hates you, regardless on what you do.